We'll now be adding legs to the rig. For the legs I want all the joints to be along a single plane. And it's not easy to place joints along a plane whether using KineFX or object based rigging. Normally this will be achieved using a tool called the construction plane which is activated over here. We can right click on this icon to get options. The second one of which will be the construction plane handle. This handle will be used to manipulate our plane. When we draw our bones they'll automatically conform to this plane. But unfortunately this plane is rather difficult to manipulate. This is made worse by the fact that I do not have proper control in my orthographic views. Because of this we'll not be editing the construction plane directly. Instead I'll be calculating the planes with a guide. And I'll start by getting a line node. This line will have three points. To define a plane you need three points. Essentially every triangle defines a plane. Then get an edit node. This will be connected to our line node. I'll set the edit node to be the displayed node. I'll select it and then I'll press enter in the viewport. I'll activate selection mode by pressing the S key and make sure that my selection is set to points. I'll select the first point, activate translate and then move this point to the base of the leg. This is easier to do using the orthographic views as you'll have more precise placement. I'll then position the second point. I want this point to be at the highest point on these legs. If you're working on a different type of rig, you'll generally place this at the most extreme joint on the limb. I will then place the third point at the tip of the leg. We can now get a second edit node and this one will be plugged into the first edit node's output. I can then set this edit node to be the active node and I can translate the points in my viewport. The first point will once again be the base of the leg. The second point will be the highest point of the leg and the third point will be the tip of the leg. I generally want these points to be in the center of the geometry. You should also make sure that you do not move any points in the previously selected node. I will then add another edit node and I'll position these points similarly to the first two. I now have guides to calculate the plane for each leg. I can now use these guides and I'll start by selecting the first of the edit nodes and I'll use the backslash key to activate the construction plane instead of the button. This is not just activating the construction plane but it is activating the selection mode which will allow us to snap our construction plane to geometry. Unfortunately this is snapping to all of our geometry rather than just the selected geometry so I'll turn off visualizations for our mesh. I can then start selecting my geometry. I'll select the first point followed by the first edge and then the second edge. Once again the first point followed by the first edge and then the second edge. My construction plane is now in the correct position and I can select and activate my skeleton and reactivate the ghost scene for the mesh. We'll start drawing our points from the abdomen. This is because the legs will need to follow any rotation from the abdomen. I need to be in create mode. I'll select the abdomen then I'll draw the first point at the base of the leg. This point should snap to the construction plane. Next is the first joint which will be at the top of the leg. I can draw at the second joint and finally the tip of the leg. I've now created the first leg and it is aligned along a single plane. We can now start on the second leg by selecting the second edit node. I'll need to turn off the mesh's visualization again. I can then press backslash so I can adjust my plane again. I'll select the first point and then the second point and then the second edge. With this tool you do not specifically have to choose either points or edges but it usually works best if you choose a point followed by an edge and then an edge or a point followed by a point and then an edge. I can now turn on the ghosted mesh again, select my skeleton, make sure that this is the displayed node Our joint will once again start at the abdomen. 
will then go to the base of the leg, to the first joint, to the second joint, and finally to the tip of the leg. With this we'll have created our second leg. We can now select the next edit mode and make sure that the mesh is deactivated once again. I'll press backslash so that I can align my plane. Once again I'll select the first point, and then I'll select the first edge, and the second edge. I can now activate the skeleton again, and ghost the mesh again. I'll then draw out the bones again, starting from the abdomen, to the base of the leg, the first joint, the second joint, and finally the tip of the leg. I now have the legs for my insect, although I only have one side. However, instead of creating them separately, we're going to mirror them, and we'll do that in the next video.